In their day, the two reactors at Trausvinis made enough power for a city the size of Manchester. This plant shut down 30 years ago, but some of its core components will be radioactive for centuries. The remaining waste is being boxed up for long-term storage. What you can see here is concrete boxes, inside which there's another box, and inside that there's what's called intermediate level waste. So this is what you see as waste that's come from half a century of nuclear yeah. generation. For a long time, the assumption was these sites would be effectively forgotten. But the energy crisis means they're being eyed as the best places for a nuclear renaissance. Our job as Magnox is to decommission the site and do that in a safe and sustainable way to enable this site to be reused and regenerated for whatever use we all decide is needed here. At a peak in 1997, 15 power plants produced more than a quarter of the UK's electricity. But by 2024, only three will still be generating. And by 2030, there'll be just two, Sizewell B and the long-delayed Hinkley C in Somerset. Last week, at a number 10 roundtable, the Prime Minister said he wanted 25% of our energy to come from nuclear once again. Executives from Rolls-Royce were there, trying to persuade him of a new approach small modular reactors. We've designed this solution in order to ensure we've got a much more robust route to market with a technology that can be financed with private capital and that has by design uh, a product that is lower cost and can be built in a factory. Best case scenario, worst case scenario, I don't know, when do you think we'll see well, the Well hopefully if you come and speak to me in a year's time we'll be in the middle of those negotiations. Rolls-Royce's reactor is based on its designs used in nuclear submarines. To make SMRs faster and less complex to build, they'll be prefabricated in modules. So this is a, an example of a, a module. Right. So the so SMR... One component yes, of the reactor. One, one module. So this is modular constructed, so it's built in a factory environment, taken to site, and then modules assembled together. So you're taking all that risk out of the construction. While investment risks may be lower, SMRs still need to be proven in the real world. They'll face stiff competition from rival bids for bigger nuclear plants and neither are a quick fix for the energy crisis. It's right, perhaps, that the government has nuclear as part of, uh, of, of its strategy. I certainly expect that it would do that. But it's, it's, it's quite wrong to think that we can, we can get nuclear in time, new nuclear in time, the next winter, the winter after that, or in fact for many years. To some, sites like this are the legacy of an expensive and messy chapter in our energy history. To others, they're monuments to an era of high-tech, homegrown energy independence, reminding us how short-term thinking could end up costing more in the long run. Tom Clark, Sky News, North Wales.